Right, I've just got a new soldering iron and it's the TS80 Smart Soldering Iron. And this soldering iron is made by the same company that makes this ES121 motion control screwdriver that I showed a little while ago. And like that motion controlled screwdriver, the TS80 soldering iron has an OLED display and is also fully programmable. The body is made of high quality black anodized aluminium. And at the moment you can actually get two different types of cartridge soldering iron ends. This one here, which has rather a thick um, tip on it. And then there's one with a pointed tip. It comes with the two pin USB power adapter. But it can also be run from a quick charge 3 power bank. The actual soldering iron ends have a 3.5 jack type connection. The same that goes on a headphone or whatever. And that one just plugs into the end of the handle. And then you have a silicone power cable that plugs into the back of that one and then you can actually plug it directly into the two pin power adapter and I actually plug that power adapter into a shaving type plug for the UK with a fuse in it or like I say you can actually plug the USB directly into one of the quick charge 3.0 power banks and use it in the field. It also comes with a ground connection cable and an Allen key and the connector is put under that little screw at the back there and then you can actually ground it to whatever you're working on. The soldering iron kit came in this box here and it came with this piece of paper which describes the various parts of the soldering iron and the buttons and whatever and the safety instructions but there was no actual manual. But don't worry about that because you can actually go on the MIN website and download the full user's manual in English. It's really well written and shows absolutely everything about this soldering iron and it's 21 pages long and you download it in A4 format. And on page 20 of that manual it gives a full description of how to actually download the firmware updates and install them on the soldering iron. When I got my soldering iron it had version 1.06 on it and today I downloaded 1.07 and installed that on this iron. And I'll put the links to the download of the user manual for this um, TS-80 plus the firmware update page. So now I've plugged the soldering iron in, if you have a look at the display when I actually switch it on it will show the version that's in there. And then it comes to the display there where you can actually change the settings or go directly into soldering. If you want to go straight into soldering you press the forward button here and it'll go into heating and heat up to whatever temperature has been set. When you get it in the box it's set at 300 but I've upped mine to 370 degrees centigrade. I actually got this soldering iron after seeing many other reviews on YouTube about it. 
I knew it was going to be exceptional quality after I got the ES121 motion controlled screwdriver and when I first got it out of the box the first thing that I actually really liked about it was how small it is it's not much bigger than a fountain pen and probably not much heavier also it's made of exceptional good quality components really well finished and it's just like the motion control screwdriver in that quality the other thing that i really like is this lovely silicon power cable a silicon power cable is about the best you can actually get on something like this it's extremely lightweight and when you're actually soldering with this iron you can't actually feel that weight at all on that cable plus it's the most soft and flexible cable you can actually get and you generally only see silicon cable like this on good quality electronic equipment like this one so now I'm going to just give it a quick test on this thin copper plate that I've got here to show you how quick it heats up and how you can actually quickly solder something like that And I think that's absolutely brilliant. I could probably solder that to that one. And it works absolutely incredibly. It's actually soldered those two bits of copper together there. It's quite thick copper. And I've never had a soldering iron that solders like that.
And if you want to know everything about this soldering iron before buying it, you can actually download the user manual. You don't have to actually buy the soldering iron to get that. I'll put the links below, like I said, so it's actually worth downloading that on the computer if you're interested in this one and having a read through. So all I can say is that I'm totally impressed with the TS-80. I think it's a fantastic soldering iron and it's just as good quality as their ES-121 motion controlled electric screwdriver that I showed. Absolutely fantastic tools. And you can get a nice case for this one as well, a purposely made case, um, which I'm going to get for that one. Plus I think I'll get the extra um, soldering tip. And I have actually ordered a fast charge 3.0 power bank for this one. You can get any power bank, um, you don't have to have a specific make as long as it's fast charge 3.0 that one will be okay.